Hello everybody, welcome to a slightly different video. Uh, this video is more of a behind the scenes of my newest CSGO edit. Uh, so to start off an edit, what I usually do is look for demos. Uh, I use two channels mainly, uh, Movie Nations and CSGO Demos. I'll leave links to them in the description if you want to check them out. They upload some pretty good demos to use for edits. Uh, after that, I sort them into folders. Uh, which I store on here. Uh, the first folder is for all the demos that I download and then I record them using HLAE and uh, there's a tutorial on that on my channel if you want to check it out and I'll be making an updated version on that soon. The next one is Kill Feet which I'll be making a tutorial on soon and the last one is uh, some extra demos that then end up being used maybe for a future edit. Alright, so now we're moving on to Vegas, uh, where all the editing is pretty much done. As you can see, all, I keep everything onto one layer, just because I prefer to see all the velocity connected together. Uh, the velocity for this edit is probably the best I've done out of all the edits I've made. I tried to work on flow the most, but it didn't really work out as I hoped. Uh, now if I mute this, you can see uh, sound effects have been added, such as this whoosh, to bring in the uh, start of the video. Uh, most of the gunshots actually aren't from CSGO, they are from Counter-Strike Source and 1.6. Uh, the knife and bolt action sounds, they are from CSGO though. Uh, now, the scope effect I use here in the Inferno clip, these were created using the Pancroft tool and my uh, scope overlay, which is part of my editing pack. So, as you can see here, this is just some pretty basic keyframing. It as it moves along, it just goes like that. Uh, it's pretty basic. Uh, you can just pretty much follow the same things I have done here, just to copy it. Uh, now, uh, the kill feed, uh, which I have manually created myself as you can see here as they go along I've synced them all up with the gunshots. Uh, the project file and clips for this edit are free to download I'll leave a link into the description for all of them and uh, yeah you guys can pretty much you know download it and use clips for your edits if you want. Uh, my project file you can you know, use to learn how to use velocity and the sound effects and stuff. Everything will be available in the description if you wish to use them. Now as I've render settings, what I use is I render everything at 1440p. So here is my preset, 2K res. So custom res, 2560 by 1440, 30 FPS, uncompressed, and render quality set to best. And I render that out as an AVI. Now when I render that out, uh, you'll see that the file size of a very big uh, which is this is the uncompressed clip here. It is 1440p, 30 FPS, and it is around 12 gigs. And uh, it's very large, but it gives you the best quality without any uh, horrible graining and stuff. So, next, what I do is import the rendered clip into After Effects. So, if I do that right now, uh, here is the clip and create a new composition with it. And you can see the colors aren't very nice, they're just sort of gray and not very nice to look at. So what I do is add Magic Bullet Looks, which is here, and add that to the clip. Uh, click Edit. Now I have a, a, I've saved the preset for what I've actually used. As you can see, uh, this is what I, these are all the things I've used. Uh, the loot I used is F9380 STD. Uh, that is actually available in my editing pack too, if you want it. I've added a bit of exposure, uh, bumped it up to about 20. Uh, a bit of curves here and another curves uh, for some reason. Uh, a bit of pop and uh, more huge saturation, uh, increased exposure, diffusion, and another huge saturation. I was uh, sort of playing around with all the little settings here, so that's why there's like two hue saturations and two curves for some reason. Uh, yeah, anyway, it, look, it looks pretty nice, so that's uh, that's what I've used. 
and that pretty much applies to the entire clip. Next, what I add is RSMB, Real Smart Motion Blur, that adds uh, motion blur to the clip. So as you can see here, uh, it just makes it look a lot nicer. I usually bump this up to about seven and a half or so, or 0 0.75, and turn this down to about 65, maybe, uh, or maybe less, maybe 60, uh, about there. And that makes that pretty much makes it look a bit nicer. Uh, the next thing I add is instant 4K to make everything a bit sharper and nicer quality. So I set this to best and pretty much max out the rest. As you can see, uh, the textures and edges look a lot nicer. So I disable it. The edges are a bit you know more blurry, and this just makes it look nicer. And after that, I render that at lossless quality lossless which means it's uncompressed and obviously obviously the file size will be quite large and I render that out all right so after I finish rendering out in After Effects I uh, open it in Handbrake and compress it so it's a lot smaller for me to upload all right so after it's finished importing I use the preset uh, normal and for this I set it to custom uh, pretty much leave everything default, filters, uh, everything's off really. Uh, for video, I set this to around 10, uh, pretty much max that. Uh, set this to high and use variable frame rate and same as source. For audio, I'll leave it default and everything else is default. And I pretty much code that into a much smaller file. Now if I find the file here, here is the edit. If I open it up, you can see that the file size is a lot smaller, 18 megabytes, that's a lot better for me to upload. And you can see the quality is nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this small behind scenes video and uh, let me know if you want to see more of these and if you have any requests for any tutorials you want to see, uh, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.